Now, children, there are three kinds of blood vessels in the human circulatory system the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Ma'am, what are they? I'll tell you. Now, arteries and veins have a very similar structure. It, they are there. That's good. We don't have to learn extra. So, we are going to study about the structure of these blood vessels. And the difference, I will tell you. Children, arteries are, and veins are the pipes which are carrying the blood, which are circulating the blood. They have a huge responsibility. I always tell you the function before I tell you the structure because they are interconnected. So, let's do it. Now, the innermost layer, we are starting from inside to outside. If I take a cross section, if I cut the pipe, then the innermost layer is the tunica. Tunica is the layer. Intima. Intima means internal. You can also say tunica interna. Write it down. Write it down. Tunica interna. It is made up of the endothelium, which is nothing but the squamous epithelium. Okay, flattened squamous epithelium. You must have done it in your tissues chapter. So, you have to write it. Tunica intima is an elastic. It is the uh, endothelium or the squamous epithelium. Okay. Next to that, since blood vessels have to, there is flow of fluid between them. They need elasticity. They need movement. So, tunica media, the middle one, keep writing is made up of smooth muscle and elastic connective tissue. Okay? Very important MCQ for NEAT. Write it down. Smooth muscle fibers and elastic fibers. Moving to tunica externa. The outermost one is collagen fibers. It is the fibrous connective tissue formed by collagen fibers. Write it down. Okay. So, once again, the fibrous tissue, I am moving from outside to inside. Fibrous tissue, elastic tissue and smooth muscle, squamous epithelium. Okay. Now, let's look at the differences, children. Always remember that the middle layer or tunica media is thicker in a artery. Very important question you are writing with me. They are tunica media or the smooth muscle layer is thicker in an artery. Okay. Now, another rule before the next class, you have to. Today's homework is before sleeping, you have to say it three times like a mantra. What is the rule? That arteries will always carry blood away from the heart. That is the pure blood to the body. We will understand the functioning of the heart in the next session. So, arteries are carrying blood from the heart to the body. Okay? It is the oxygenated blood, full of oxygen, the good blood. Now, the veins carry blood from the body towards the heart. Okay? So, how I want you to write down is arteries away from the heart. Write it in short form. Do not make it difficult for yourself. And veins towards the heart, deoxygenated blood. You write as I write. Moving further, this is the summary. Once again, arteries carry blood away from the heart, veins carry blood towards the heart. Good. Now, since arteries are carrying oxygenated blood, it is bright red in color. It is a bright pinkish red and the veins have a bluish blood or the deep red blood. Okay. Now, moving further, what are capillaries? Children, listen to me carefully. Capillaries are the micro vessels, very, very thin vessels. But they are very important. Why? I want you to drop your pens and look at the image. Now, arteries are carrying oxygenated blood. They divide into arterioles 
the finer arteries arterioles give branches very thin branches called capillaries actually capillaries go to the body tissues listen to me carefully and supply the nutrients and oxygen and the deoxygenated blood and the waste products they come to the capillaries so capillaries are causing the exchange of materials this is the key word here and i want you to write down capillaries are causing the exchange of materials then they come together and form venules and the veins so the connection between the arteries and veins is actually the capillaries good so you should remember capillaries are causing the exchange of substances one fact for you very interesting it was very interesting for me to know this fact that actually the total length of blood vessel in our body in an average human adult is twice the earth's circumference so if all the vessels are taken out of the body they can surround the earth twice very interesting you don't have to write down let's recall the circulatory system that you have studied in the animal kingdom yes so you know if we talk about chordates they have the closed circulatory system but children since the structure of heart varies in different chordates we have different types of circulation okay so very important to understand the types of circulation what are the different types of circulation the simplest one the first one is the single circulation you don't have to write this down because you have studied that we are just revising it because we love to revise so for example in fishes who have only two chambers yeah the ventricle and the uh, uh, the atrium and the ventricle just the two chambers so the body parts give the deoxygenated blood yeah they give the deoxygenated blood to the atria and the atria give it to the ventricles whereas gills give the oxygenated blood to the various body parts yeah so this is the single circulation because blood is only the deoxygenated blood is passing through the heart only once next what happens is the incomplete double circulation if it was difficult for you to remember earlier today i am going to give you one keyword and that is mixed blood so whenever you are getting confused i understand you guys can get confused because i used to get confused when i was a student so mixed blood is incomplete double circulation this happens because the heart is three chambered the example is you already know amphibians and reptiles except crocodiles yeah so they have the circulation you have only one ventricle yeah so left atrium receives the oxygenated blood from the respiratory organs which could be gills or lungs or the skin yeah depending on the organism it receives and the left uh, right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood from the body parts but they get mixed in the ventricle and this mixed blood is then circulated okay so there is mixing of blood in one ventricle remember that then there is double circulation which we have understood that is because of the four chambered heart seen in crocodile birds and mammals i'm just going to add crocodile for you here because it is one of my favorite concepts so again you have the left atrium the right atrium the left ventricle and the right vein ventricle and remember i'm going to leave you by telling you that the left side is dealing with the oxygenated blood here you see the red blood yeah this is what i wanted to tell you and this is what you have to learn before the next session please children so right side of the heart is dealing with the deoxygenated blood 